Whoa. Feels like I'm flying. Well, that's because I am. Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome to Void Train. Uh, it's a game I've seen a couple of, play, a couple of people play already, and uh, it looks actually quite interesting. It's uh, similar to Raft, but it's not a Raft, this is a train as you can tell, and we're not in the middle of the ocean, we're actually in the middle of a void world that has been created by somebody. I'm not, doesn't really explain the details too much, but basically we're an engineer, we have a mechanic with us, and uh, as we progress to the game, we're surviving off the void, sort of like Raft. We can, can actually expand our train starting from this little platform up to these uh, interdimensional expresses they call them so it's actually quite interesting so let's go ahead and check it out Oop, that's the wrong button go there we'll start a new game i played for about an hour i didn't want to rest too far because i don't want to miss anything now, there's a few things we gotta do up on top right you can actually see what we gotta do it says lock the door you can tell by a little a there so we go ahead and we'll go and lock the door Now, we're in a world that has been created by, created for us with its own set of rules. So that's what it's all about. And then we just go ahead and do this standard moving and stuff like that, sprint, interaction. We'll go ahead and get rid of that. And now, uh, what are we gonna do? We're gonna find the handle for the trolley. Grab the handle, we'll run up here. And we'll put it on top of here. Now, what do we have to do? Turn on the gate over here now I think yeah there is actually a little model here we can sort of see like a little demonstration of basically we're a little train going on these interdimensional rails going with these void gates that take us to different dimensions or worlds or something like that that's quite interesting so anyways uh, let's go turn the gate on and let's hit, hit the rails Very dramatic, I know. All right, what do we gotta do? We gotta release the brake. But we got the brake on that side. And the cutscene, apparently. <laughs> good luck. Good security system. And here we are. We are on our little platform in the void. These little guys. I think we find out after we go to the, the after we go through the first gate. That apparently, leeches they attach the train. They don't do any damage, but they slow us down. But uh, turns out they're good for resources. We'll get to that soon. But here we are. So, yeah, at first I was thinking it was like a, an ap apocalyptic wasteland or something like that, but apparently this is like some sort of world, and apparently our train is the only spot that has gravity. We jump off, and we swim around. So that is interesting. So it's, like I said, it's sort of like Raft. Uh, I've seen some big creatures in the game. I haven't watched too many videos of it, because uh, they haven't gone too far, but I'm not going to watch any more from pretty much the next couple of episodes after this, it's gonna be all new stuff for me, so let us go. And That's going so the wrong way. The journey into the in between begins. Oh, yeah. Our heroes are about to start their adventure. Of course. Wait, wait, wait. Forward, not backwards. Oh, goodness. Just use this transmission thingy. Yes. Go that way. Yes. Good, good. Okay, now our heroes are definitely about to begin their adventure through the many dangers that lie ahead. So you can sort of see oh, like things so there, like uh, highlighting things. There's some wood there. There is uh, some of the scrap. Okay, no, this is not good. Let's At this rate, this we'll never finish this story. I don't oh, want yeah. to be Telling me that to do guy, this. but this thing, we'll maybe go through we it. should hurry a little bit. And this is cool. What am I gonna do? Let's switch it into reverse. Actually, I thought this thing was going to do some, something bad to me or something, but the way they have this all animated, and it goes up and immediately locks the train in place. 
Very imaginative. Alright, go the other way, and off we go. And he wants us to speed yes. this up. I expected no less from you. Full ahead. So it just speeds speeds us up, but it doesn't give us a chance to collect these resources. We're gonna need them for uh, things like we do have a, a food and water system down there, so we do have to pay attention to that. So let's see. Now we gotta collect stuff. So stop here, and we go around and look for stuff. As you can see, there's some stuff back there, but that's fine. There's plenty around. I uh, got different things. Unfortunately, we're limited to the length of our tether, too, so... Some stuff you can't always grab. Grab some metal there. And some... That, chemicals? Yeah, that's... Anytime you go over the train car, it drops you down, which is interesting. Grab that, and... Continue on. Really beautiful. It's really smoky, though. Or cloudy, I should say. It's kind of hard to see stuff. And off we go. Uh, as far as I know, this thing doesn't require fuel or anything like that, so... I'm sure we can manage. Now... Uh, if you want, you can keep the train running as you're uh, collecting stuff. But if you need to stop, you actually have to swim back up to the train to grab that lever on the other side there, which... isn't always the easiest thing in the world. It's kind of fun, though. At least... At least, unlike in Raft, you don't have to worry about this thing getting away on you. I just drag you along behind it. Which is bad when you have to stop, but there you go. So, as you can see, I do have uh, inventory. I got some scrap metal. We uh, ended, up that, ended up refining that down into ingots and stuff like that. We have some chemicals. We turned that with uh, this into copper eventually. Unfortunately, that's our food supply right now, and then we can find dirty ice and stuff like that, too, to replenish thirst. So, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to roll on a little bit until I collect uh, some more wood and metal, and I'll bring you back. Okay, so I got what I needed. It also gave me a little tutorial about uh, the building menu, and I kind of missed that, but I wanted to show you one thing. Uh, what you can do if you want to go back to your the, the train, you don't actually have to look at it. You just hold down F, and you pull yourself in automatically. So it kind of helps. I don't know if it helps. It makes it easier when you try to catch up to it when the brake's going. So, anyways, yeah, we got uh, two different modes here. Uh, oh, that's the wrong button. If I bring up the T, and we got this, and then there's also a building mode too. If I, you hold T down, it's not letting me do it because I don't have it yet. So, <laughs> there it is. It's not showing up. Hang on a second. There we go, I figured it out. Apparently the the key to hide the HUD, as you can see the hammer and my health in the bottom left there disappear, is apparently, was apparently bound to the same key as my recording key. That's always handy. But yeah, anyways, hold on to T, and it allows you to choose between the crafting book or the hammer. The hammer is for uh, repairing it currently and building, but there's actually no building we can do. So anyways, we'll turn put that back, we'll go over to the crafting book, Bring that out, and this shows us the things that we can currently build. We got to do do research as we do, like in raft, to start building more things. I don't know how far it goes, but uh, from what I've seen, it can get quite interesting. So let's go ahead and we'll place this down. We have complete freedom where we can place it. Uh, I've learned not to put it near the handles; it makes it kind of awkward. Um, that's the wrong button. Excuse me a minute. Yeah, go there, and I meant to hit R so we can rotate it. And we'll just put it over here for now, we can always move it later. Alright, so let's get out of here. And now it's telling me to research technology of the smelter. So we open the research table, and we can get the smelter, and we can also research containers, which... You'd think they would be able to hold, have more than three slots, but this is what we have for now, but that's only container one. So we're going to do the smelter, which means I need more metal. So now, I gotta go and get more metal. Now, I know that there's a certain amount of track between between gates, so I can't just let this go continuously. But what I can do is... Uh, can you go somewhere? Like, I can see metal over there, and... some more ice up there, and... I do have to keep an eye on my vitals. Is it okay for the time being? Uh, that we can get into different types of cooking and stuff like that, so I can get more sustenance out of the organics that I find, the things that I can make. Same with the water too, I think the water will give me more 
um, those things uh, in the next area. We'll, we'll get a revolver and uh, we can get certain drops from them just by a little bit of target practice with a pistol or a, a revolver that has infinite ammo. Anyway, uh, I'm going to do some scavenging and I'll bring you back. Okay, I'm back. I've got I got more than enough what I, than what I need. I picked up a few other things. Hey, there's an island below me. <laughs> One of these islands. I was look, looking at it. I was like, wait a minute. I'm not that far, how far off the surface. And I realized, oh wait, it's one of these islands. Uh, but yeah, I have more than enough. There's a few others here I'm going to grab. But we do have to smelt some ingots anyway. So I figure grab a few more. Uh, this game was actually reminding me of Breath Edge. Except without the extremely comical humor. I'm sure it does have it, but I haven't seen it yet. We might, we might not. We have seen some of it already. Uh, is there anything else here? Uh, oh, can I get it? Can I get it? No. Anyway, uh, let us go and build the smelter. And this is quite interesting. Like the the atmosphere, it's just the like the the, the clouds and. Almost looks like the black hole from Interstellar. I can't remember what the name of it was, but yeah, this is something else. So, what was I doing? Now uh, we gotta research for the smelter. So, we'll go in here, do that, we'll research the smelter. Doesn't take too long, a few seconds, and no big deal. And then we can get out of here, and now we gotta build the smelter. Right? Yes. So, the same thing, we go into T, we make sure that we're on the crafting book. Then we open it. Uh, I, I hold T down to bring the radio menu up. And as you can see, you can do different things like that. Go here, and I actually had just enough to make, make this. And uh, let us put it over here. Uh, like I said, away from the handle, so when I'm swimming back, swimming back to the train, I'm not accessing the smelter instead of uh, hitting the handle. All right, and then this is actually quite a good set setup. We go over here, choose our fuel. We can burn different types of wood. It shows us what we actually have. Like burn sterilizers, coal, and fertilizer, stuff like that. I got wood. You can actually choose how much you want to put in there. And then the fuel stays in. It's only used while you're actually crafting it. And then you go ahead and select that. Go here and choose a recipe. We can make the copper out of metal scraps or uh, chemicals. Or we can make an iron bar out of two iron scraps, which I don't have any of. And what does it want me to do? It wants to make it wants me to make two iron ingots. Alright, so off I go. I'll be back. Wow. That's cool. I was just catching a glimpse of it before I got the the sun flares coming in and it's just like it's right up there. I almost want to see if I can touch it. I don't think my tether's long enough though. Uh, let's see, how high can I swim? Oh, I might be able to touch it. Let's see if I can do that. Grab whatever I can around here, because I really don't want to have to back this thing up. Uh, our little blockade hasn't shown up yet, so we should be good. Uh, swim around, see if there's anything hiding I don't want to miss. Uh, okay, go forward a little bit more. It's almost like it's going to drop. It makes me wonder if it's going to drop and the, the train comes underneath it. Okay. Just want to look and see if I don't... See if there's anything around too. Because, you know, it's a survival game. i got to find things to survive and expand my train eventually. Hopefully be on the one platform. Alright, I want to see if I can actually reach this. No. Not going to be high enough. Anyway, let me hunt down some scrap and I'll return. Okay, I have what I need. I also gotta remember to hit the right key for recording this time. Uh, okay, so yeah, I do have the scraps. So we'll go ahead here and we'll choose Iron Borrow. I got enough to make two of them. It tells me what we got here and how much we'll need. Go ahead and craft that. It just takes a little bit, a little while. Uh, certain recipes require a certain amount of heat. I'm guessing that's where the coal and the other different types of fuels come in handy. And then we'll go there, and then the second one's going to come through, and it should stop about halfway through this log, so at least we're not wasting fuel. That was actually one of the things I was wondering about, is if it was going to... All done. If it was uh, going to burn off the less, rest of the fuel. Oh, wow, the clouds are clearing up. Nice. All right. 
So now, what is next? I got the iron bars. What are you going to tell me to do this time? I guess that is it. So yeah, so now that we got the iron bars, we can go in here, and then we'll be able to get other things. Like, uh, there's different phases of research. The first one is these two items that will go into phase two, where there's three things we can research, and then it started getting to, like, gears and springs, and, you know, things are getting starting to get interesting. So we can go ahead and actually start crafting some storage, or researching storage. Okay, and then that allows me to make storage crates. I can bring up the crafting book here. Alright. And I can need more iron, which means I need more scraps and all the fun stuff. And I think after I build that, or actually we can go ahead and research this now. So then I can get to the workbench. And the workbench is where we can start making these more components. So we have a research station, we have a workbench. And again, as you can see, it's a tier one, so it's going to be multiple tiers. Uh, if I haven't mentioned it already, and I'm sure you already know, this is an early access game. So, of course, there's going to be a lot of work they're doing. And so on and so forth. So, again, I have more scrap to find. And I'm going to try to keep working my way through because I know we're coming up to something big here, as you can as you can tell, it's certainly quite changed a lot. Anyway, that's the wrong lever. Let's roll. I said, let's roll. Oh yeah, we have a horn too. <laughs> and done. So what it is, I actually grabbed uh, not to make four ingots. So let's go ahead and make ourselves a chest. Uh, make sure I open up, hit the right button this time. So we go ahead and make a container. Container level one, we'll place this over in the corner here for now. Uh, oh yeah, there. And we'll get out of here. And look at that, ultimate storage, three slots, yay. So there we go. Uh, yeah, again, there's our food, water right there. Uh, go ahead and eat that for food, drink that for water, or eat the dirty ice for water. I'm sure that's healthy. Uh, there's different stations we'll be able to get into, like be able to get the, like chemistry, like there's a lab we can make, and then I think there's a, like a, a stove or something that allows us, allows me, us, whoever's playing the game, to cook and make more nourishing meals out of this. Because as you can see, it shows that it's giving five percent food. I'm sure you could cook it with like some dirty ice and make a stew. It'll give you ten or fifteen or whatever. However, it goes. Uh, anyways, uh, so it's not telling me what to do other than uh, let's roll. Uh, we can go in and do some more research. Like I uh, gotta get this going. I need one more ingot. In fact, I might actually be able to do that. Uh, since we're almost there anyways, uh, we should be seeing some good signs off in the distance here. Let me uh, grab my wood here. Uh, not literally, of course. And uh, go on. Uh, I don't really need too many chemicals at the time being. Uh, eventually we'll have to get in the copper. I don't know what kind of uh, electronical things that they're going to be involved in. Come back here. Come back here. Oh, I see some metal. Right over here, there's one. Uh, I gotta get more wood too, cause we're burning that up. Uh, I'm wondering about the coal, is it something we're gonna be making, or is it gonna be something we're gonna be finding out in the world? Oh, sorry, the void. The void world. That's what, really, what it really is. Okay. Come here, stop. Got that, and then there was metal up here. Grab this and grab a little morsel there. Again, don't need the chemicals. Okay, let's go make that last ingot and then I can research the workbench. Okay, go in here. Oh, go like that and craft. Take 10 seconds on that. Do I have any space in here for anything? No, of course not. Uh, hmm. I need a bigger chest. That's what she said. Anyway, all right, so now, uh, well, research workbench. And then, of course, we're going to need to have to have the same amount of material to, to build the workbench so we can do other things which are yada, yada, yada. Anyway, uh, let's see what we need for this thing. Uh, workbench requires uh, three more ingots. Well, we have some rail ahead, so uh, let us go. Uh, you know, I'm not, I was looking on the, the, 
store page on the Epic Games there to try to find more about the actual storyline. That's all I, I could really see is uh, that it was some sort of world created for us. Uh, I'm guessing this is one of those things where you got to actually play the game and figure out the story as you go. Could be. It's always an interesting way to do it. It's an uh, interesting concept. It's definitely far-fetched, but... Uh, what isn't in a video game? Anyway, enough rambling. I got some real to cover. Okay, so I got got some made already. Oh, there's another piece over here. I also do have enough for another five or six ingots, I do believe. So I'll go ahead and grab this. I do have the room. Good. Now what was I making? I was making... Oh, making a workbench. Uh, that's right. We'll go ahead and make the workbench. Uh, we'll go place this in this corner here. And eventually we'll be able to expand further. Maybe. Maybe not, because we're going to have about a million of these chests if that's how big they're going to be. And in here, then, as you can see, we can go ahead and we can make bolts. And that's one of the things that we're going to need for uh, more research and other things that we're going to be able to be building. Hello, guys. Funny how you don't drop here. Anyway, so then we go into the research table. Let's see what's next. Then we got uh, basic components, which is going to be more iron. And then we get into here where we're going to need copper. Uh, we also got to do, uh, got to start progressing forward. Uh, I know we shouldn't be too far away here. Uh, like I said, there's a certain sort of void gate that we pass through every time. So, I guess uh, I will be keep on looting and uh, I'll see you when we get there. And here we come to the end of our, the first leg of our journey. And this towering monstrosity up in... There, let's see if I can get another one of these. There we go. All right. Uh, I have done a little bit of stuff. I've made a few more containers here. Try to get a little bit of organization going. Let's stop this for now. Uh, this is... Oh, yes. See the ribbons there. Uh, I do want to grab as much as I can. Because uh, you never know how much of this rush you need. Where did I go? There's my stick. I found you. Uh, but yeah, so like I said, I did get a little bit of organization done. I got uh, chemicals in here, I got uh, scrap in here, which is already full, and I have wood in here, which is almost full. I've been trying to keep my health and food up, or water and food. So anyways, uh, the music is telling us to move on, so uh, let us do so. We could carry on and watch this giant mass of things showing up. And this is actually where our first gate's gonna be. And they start seeing these chains, and from what I've seen in other people's videos, there are some big creatures out here. Ooh, grab some water bottle here. Some clean, dirty water. There's some clean water. Uh, got wood for now. I'm sure there's gonna be plenty of chances to gather supplies. So I should stop being so greedy. Let's see if I can grab, grab the, the baton as we go by. Can I get you? Can I get you? Can I get you? Yes. Cue epic music. And we're coming up to the first gate. And giant chains and all this stuff. You know, I wonder if there's going to be a way to like, actually dismantle this kind of debris that you see floating around. I'm sorry, I have to. I see it floating there, I gotta take it. I think the music's kind of making it a little more over the top. Mind you, those are some big ass chains. I don't know what they're holding up. Cause I can't see anything. But... See what happens. And we're gonna go through the wall. Pedal to the metal. Epic. What's he gonna do? What's he gonna do? He's gonna scan my brain. I have no idea what this is all about. Oh, you got something to do with transferring us through the void gate? 
Not too we'll sure. Been around for some time now, our heroes are trying to understand where they are and who could possibly build such wonders. Upon further inspecting the platform, it becomes obvious to them that someone used to live here. An idea occurs to our brave adventurers investigating the abandoned depot. Must be cheap rent, that's all I can say. Anyways, I think this would be a good, good spot to leave it. So I thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, if you want to check this game out for yourself, it's on the Epic Game Store. I do have a link in the description if you want to check it out. And uh, until then, I'll see you in the next one. Later. Oh, what was that all about? So, are you Hal's cousin? <laughs>